one. Uh, let us know what, what you think about that. Also, what do you think um, about Britney Spears? This is her ex-husband, Kevin Federline. She's revealed... Sorry, he's revealed in an interview that their teenage sons have chosen not to see uh, Britney, their mother, and uh, they say that they find their her nude selfies rather tough to look at. They also didn't attend uh, her wedding this summer to long-term boyfriend Sam Ashgari. Oh, gosh, it's like... <sighs> Dirty laundry aired in public, difficult, Do you know what? very this difficult. This really, really made me cross yesterday. I think, as we all know, she's been through so much. Um, the fact that this chap appears to not have had a job the entire time since he met Brittany, and the suggestions that are, that are, of course, we don't know that, that that money is now going to run out because they're becoming 18. I think to an attack a woman who's gone through her own mental health issues and attack her because she does post photographs of herself. It's like Victorian age. Mm. It really is. And I think you never diss your children's partner well, so publicly. to them or in public for me, that is unforgivable. The thing because is... he might attack her for what she posts on Instagram, but what he said about her mother is far more damaging. I mean, like I you think. said, we don't know we all don't the details. Know. We don't know. Um, but, you know, it could be true that those boys have said, you know, despite everything she's gone through, we've, again, seen some of it played out in the public arena. We but don't why do know we need the to details. know that? Why no, does the Daily Mail but, need to know no, that? No, that's my thing. I, yeah. I agree... You know, the boys might absolutely have said they don't want to see her, that they're finding it mm. difficult, they're finding her semi-naked Instagram posts difficult. It's doing it so publicly. I think, why do you need to do that so publicly? And mm. I think for the children, they're suddenly in this crossfire. It's There's very obviously toxic, a disrespect yeah. between, you know, between the two people. And that's fine. Do your thing, have your thing, whatever. The minute you bring children into it, it's just a lack of disrespect for the child. Mm. You have no respect for the child's feelings, for their mental well-being. And, and it's going to be damaging for that child growing up. Just let the, keep the child out of that big people conversation, argument, whatever it is, and let the child make their own decision on their own time. It's, it is, it's, you said, toxic. Yeah, I think thing. it's a very toxic yeah. situation, if it's true. Mm, well, I'm going to be devil's advocate here, though. I, I do believe, though, that maybe in children's lives, at a certain... I'm not talking about this case particularly. Maybe at 12 or 13, when you're beginning to be aware of your own body, maybe they don't want to see their mum nude or semi-nude. So there is that element of question mark, isn't there? Or sometimes, for example, you know, men, boys, they sort of knock around the house, say, just when it's hot, in their underwear and everything, and you have a visiting young girl of sort of 13, might be a cousin, and that uh, child She's goes, I don't star. want to watch that. She's a pop star. No, I understand and that. And didn't mind her being a pop star and mm. earning excuse multi millions. Me, excuse me, it's I did generalise. I said it's not particularly this case. I'm being devil's advocate for other situations. Perhaps. No, but I, I disagree with you because I do think what your children, what you do for your job, mm -hmm. every child is embarrassed by something that their parents do. Aren't of course. They? I mean, you could yeah, have a really see, super but to strict. But see your parent, you know, we all get embarrassed. You know, dad dancing. Yeah, and yeah, all yeah. But have you seen the photographs your, he's complaining about? See either she's parent. Not nude. No, she's not nude, but no. she's showing quite a lot. So, we don't, again, we don't know the truth. Mm. He's saying, is he is saying times. that they find it uncomfortable, but we don't know. And none of that matters to me. It's like, why did you need to do this? So it's it's weaponising children. That's, that's, that's it. That's it's the true. most disgusting yeah. thing. You, d you deal with that between yeah. you and between Brittany and the boys, and you deal with that. So, it is, I think it's the doing it so publicly that well, I think must We must all know people so that we've seen mess their children up by the arguments they're having exactly. over those children's heads. Yeah. Mm. And I think everybody has to look at that and say, am I using my children? Am I really worrying about my children? Am I trying to hurt my ex by, by, by bringing them? See, I think that yeah. children are used as pawns sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Particularly when marriages break up, relationships break up, and I think that is one of the worst things that you can do to a child. Absolutely. That yeah. shouldn't be... Weaponising them, as you said. Yeah.